This video is going to show you how to update your Galaxy S3 to official Jelly Bean. Yes, I did a video yesterday showing how to do that and then finally uploaded it this morning. But this one is a TAR, meaning if you have like AOKP, Science Mod 10, or any other ROM on here, you don't have to go back to a stock ROM that was Android 404 LEN and apply like 19 different updates to get to LI3. And then if you don't get the update notification update to LJ7, you have to download the file and flash that. This is going to show you how to just do it from scratch scratch one file one flash and you're on Jelly Bean. so more than likely you're going to need to be in USB debugging so unplug your USB cable go to menu settings go down here to developer options and you could pretend this was Sanj Mod 10 you could pretend this was you know Jelly Bomb or any other ROM out there so we're going to turn it off just to show you what it looks like when it's off press on press ok and choose USB debugging press ok and plug it in it's that simple Okay, so now we're at the computer, phones and Android, USB debugging is enabled, all that. So in the description of the video you're watching right now, there's going to be two links. One to this XDA thread, and by clicking on it, it'll open up this tab right here. And that's where you'll actually find the file that you need. So big shout out to Sextape, and that is an awesome username by the way. I actually learned about this through the XDA Developers TV video. I did a video just yesterday like I said earlier, and it required like installing several different updates and etc. So yeah, <laughs> this is just one time, one flash, you're on Jelly Bean. Anyways, in the description you'll find this one right here. You'll click on this link right here and it'll open up DevHost. What you can do is copy this right here, click download, and I use Download Mall, and what it does is it verifies that the MD5 you have is correct. You don't have to. It's just my way of knowing that I'm downloading exactly what the developer wanted me to have. So I've already downloaded this file. I'm not going to do it. And you'll also need to download Odin. So it says open up the Odin.exe. We place the files on the desktop. So I'm going to open it with 7-zip. And then it created this right here. I'm also going to take this, and I'm going to extract that and put it in that folder as well with the Odin and then you just you know let this do its thing um, 7-zip is free open source like Android and yeah you can you don't have to pay for it it's not like WinRAR that makes you pay or you have to find a crack or you have to do whatever you do you don't have to find a crack that's just for people that don't want that want to steal it or whatever I don't know I don't support it at all just I know people do it um, Anyway, so now we've got those extracted. Uh, what else does it say? Put the phone in the downloading mode by holding volume down, power button, and the physical home button. Connect the Galaxy S3 to your computer. If Odin recognizes it, you should see zero com. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it just in case that causes any problems, and then power it down. Wait for it to vibrate. There we go. Then it says to hold volume down, this home button, and the power button until you see downloading. And then, Press volume down. No, no, no. Volume up. Sorry. And now you're in download mode. Plug the phone up to the computer. Then open up Odin. Right here. Double click on it. You might need to right click and open its administrator. I'm not sure. Under PDA, I'm going to find this right here. It should take you to that Odin folder. That's why I recommend when you extract Odin 3304 zip and it creates a new folder. Go ahead and open up that combination zip right there, take the tar out of it, and put it in the Odin folder. That way it quickly finds it. Then just press open, and let's go back to this thread and make sure we're doing everything correctly. Does it say COM? It does, COM4. It'll say any number, that's why it has a little uh, symbol right here to let you know that it could be any number. We did the PDA combination, and it doesn't say it, but I'm pretty sure only auto reboot and F reset time should be checked. And then we'll just press start, and you know, let it do its thing. Oh, that's nice. This version of Odin actually has a little thing uh, right here when it pops up, right? Five minutes and 17 seconds remaining. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Abby, you want some orange juice? Yes, please. Ooh, and she has nicely. Abby, be quiet for a second. All right, the phone is rebooting now because the program is complete. You are now done with Odin. So yeah, you can just let your phone reboot and when it does, you'll be greeted with Android 411 Jelly Bean. Again, I know I did a video on how to apply the little update.zip. This is completely different. I can't stress this enough because someone's going to say something about it. If you have another ROM on your phone and then you use the Android 404 
Tar, you've got to go through like nine different updates or whatever it is to finally get to Li3. When the official update comes out to everybody, then you'll have to do apply another update that's like 200 something megabytes. This is just one huge file that's Android 411 LJ7, the very latest. So if you're on Li3, definitely want to check out my other video on just installing the update and not losing all your data and everything. But if you're on like Android 404 and you don't want to install nine different updates, then this video is for you. Again, of course you're using Odin, so everything's gonna be reset, completely stock. All your data and everything will be gone. So yeah, I'll try to put that up. <laughs> before. I mean, obviously you're using Odin, you're not implying an update, so you're going to be losing everything. Let's see what it says. Oh, we are definitely on Jelly Bean. That is the new thing they have. And that's your new keyboard as well. For here, I recommend pressing more information and then unchecking this right here because that'll just turn your Wi-Fi on when you're not even at home around Wi-Fi. So it's their stupid little thing they do. All right, so we're signing their Google Play account just so I can take you to the about phone. Now, keep in mind, you can root your phone. Mskip will be updating the Galaxy S3 toolkit that was confirmed today. So you will be able to check out my video. I'll put a link to it in the description. It'll basically take you to the updated toolkit and you'll be able to download the updated toolkit that will root the latest 411 Jelly Bean, which is completely stock. So definitely make sure you check out the description of this video. It'll have a link to a playlist that'll contain every single Galaxy S3 video I've done, my how to root video, how to flash stock, everything. Well, this is essentially how to flash stock. You are unrooting, you are unbreaking, you are fixing your phone with this. Brightness is really low, so we'll bring this down and we'll just slide this bar over. I recommend enabling auto upload so that way if you lose your phone, all the pictures and videos you had on your phone aren't gone. It's happened to several people out there. So we'll go to menu, settings, about phone, or device, whatever and then you'll see Android 411 LJ7 one last time if you were on Jelly Bomb, CM10, AOKP or any other ROM you don't have to use the LEN tar that takes you to Android 404 and then apply all those updates to finally get to LI3 then to LJ7 you can just flash this if you don't want to lose your data then you might want to consider going through those nine different updates or whatever it is to get to LJ7 but if you were rooted just back up your stuff with titanium backup make sure you upload it to Dropbox and then when you do this you can run the toolkit you can root your phone and you can restore all that stuff you backed up hey can you do that put your thumb right here if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you very much it truly really helps me out a lot if you're new to my channel please consider hitting the subscribe button I do mini videos on the Galaxy S3 Galaxy Note 2 Transformer Prime HP touchpad just many other devices and future devices like the Nexus 4 and etc this is what would Josh do and I'm out